I don't necessarily think everyone is bringing the value or the perceived value perceived that value. justifies yeah. what the grosses are. Welcome to the Strategy with Jason podcast. Tune in for everything you need to know to stay in the know regarding the automotive industry. Here's your host, Jason Harris. It's just taking candy from a baby right now. Yes. And I, and I think what has to happen, you still have to roll your sleeves up. You still have to be customer centric. You still have to be that dealer concierge. When that customer shows up, I mean, you, you, you go to a movie theater and the guy that's leading you to your seat with the flashlight has a tie and a suit on. Right. And it's like, you, like, gee whiz, this guy, what's he make, 15 bucks an hour and he's doing this? Yes. You know? You go to a dealership to buy an expensive car and it's the logo gear with a golf shirt and jeans on and it's like, oh, okay. Yep. You know? So I think everything begins and ends with the customer experience, make the customer feel uh, like the most important person in the world, frankly, and make them feel, even if they're buying something over MSRP, they're thinking to themselves, like you go to a restaurant, if you have a crappy meal, <laughs> but the service is incredible, you kind of overlook it, right? Well, 100%. You still tip 20%. Well, You're there's, like, wow. there's an exchange in value. There's yes. an exchange in value. And then right. right now, I'm with you. I agree. Now, this might be some people off who's watching or listening. But I don't necessarily think everyone is bringing the value or the perceived value perceived that value. justifies yeah. what the grosses are. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And, and it's perception, too. Perception is. is reality. Yep. And I think, yeah, the perceived value, it, they're not bringing it. And um, I, I think, look, we're, we're being a little bit, we're being kind of pundits here. But well, it's because we were dealers. We can actually be, we, we, we can actually stuff. actually <laughs> we can actually do a little bit. So <laughs> for, for we, all my we could have a little tough love, guys. No, yeah. no way. We all love you guys. For we'll, all my dealers out there, you 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 know I love you. But um, and it's good because I think the more the the people and you know the, the big chair in the back mm -hmm. that's running the dealership, the more they hear it from guys like us that have, that have been through the process and that have bought recently. I just bought a truck recently uh, through one of my customers you know <laughs> yes. and uh so uh, you know we we've done it we've done it all and we're seeing uh a major shift yes and we're seeing some crazy stuff going on right now and i think you know going back to the website and that's kind of where we live we live on the dealer website landing pages if they're doing well, some digital marketing it's the first impression it's the it's fir the first impression you are setting yeah. the stage yes. for what i expect or yes. what i in I perceive that I'm going to expect yes. when it comes to communication and experience. Right. Thanks for tuning in to the Strategy with Jason podcast with your host, Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to check out the full podcast library at strategywithjason.com to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.